The Director General of the Criminal Investigations Department, CID, uh, COP Mami Tiwa Adodankwa, has been reassigned by the Inspector General of Police, uh, James Opon But we have that here. Let's look at what really the reshuffle is about. The news broke yesterday and the changes were announced in a statement signed by the IGP on Friday, January 3, 2020. And we understand that this is supposed to take effect on January 15, 2020. Quickly, let me just take you through uh, the reshuffle. COP Dr. George Ekufu Dampare, former, uh, his former position was the Director General of Welfare, and now he has been moved to the Director General Administration. COP Christian Teteyono, his former position was the Director General MTTD, and he is now to occupy the position of Special Duties as Director General. COP Beatrice Zakpa Vib Sanziri is or was the Director General PPSP and by January 15 she is supposed to move to a new position as Director General of the MTTD. Also COP Isaac Kenyabua, uh, former position Director General Admin and by January 15 he will also be occupying the seat as Director General of CID. Let's look at the rest of the police reshuffle. There are COP Alex Amponsan Esiama's former position is the Director General Services, and his new position will be to occupy the seat of Director General ICT. COP Alfonso Edu Amankwa's former position is Regional Commander ER, and his new position will be to occupy the Director General position of PSO. Also, COP George Alex Menson's former position is Director General of Operations, and his new position will take effect January 15, Director General Services. And the ultimate is COP Mamiya Tiwa Ado Dankwaf, whose former position is the Director General CID and has been moved to the Director General to take care of issues on welfare. And now finally, uh, for the reshuffle in the services, that is the police service, COP Francis Ebenezer Doku, his former position is Director General of Special Duties and he's supposed to move to uh, IC workshops as Director General also, DCOP Redeemer Vincent Dejo's position, Regional Commander WR, which is the Western Region, will be moved to the Director General PPSB Headquarters. DCOP Elizabeth Apollonia Dasas, uh, former position, is at the headquarters and has been assigned now to the Director Frempo Secretariat Headquarters. And DCOP Kweku Buedu Pepras position as G Regional Commander uh, Ashanti region is now moving to the new position of Director General of Operations there. Right, so this was released uh, yesterday in a press release and these positions should take effect by January 15. The latest police hierarchy shakeup of which COP Mami Yatiwa Adodanka, who until then was the head of CID, uh, has seen many reacting to it. COP Mami Tiwa is now Director General in Charge of Welfare. Reporter Joseph Armstrong has been speaking to a section of the public about what they make of the changes. The reassignment of Tiwa Adodankwa, who was until January 3rd the CID boss, has generated some debates in section of the public. To many, they believe that she should have resigned long ago, whilst others believe that her reassignment is neither here or there. Reshuffling of positions is becoming more of a culture. And I don't know the essence, but I feel like the more you allow people to stay in the role, the more they mature and they make better decisions. The decision was too harsh, and I think also that um, the president was under so much pressure to, to reassign her, coming from the pressure from the opposition parties and then the, the media as well. She made a mistake, and that's obvious. And a number of things happened during that time, but I believe whoever is assigned and reassigning knows her competence and that is why she's where she finds herself. Now some people are saying it's a demotion, but I think as long as she's accepted it, she wants to continue serving. Her comments on the Takrade girls was relief for many, particularly families of the victims. The ladies, we know where they are and they are safe. 
So very soon, they will brought back home and they will go back to their family. But the Mother's Day revelation in an interview shocked the entire nation. The information that we had, which we believed at that time to be true and accurate, we wanted to give that information out. And let me make this thing clear. It wasn't my decision. It was a collective effort involving other state law enforcement agencies that had come together to follow up on the lease to find our missing girls. There were several calls for a dismissal thereafter. <laughs> the calls intensified after the police on Agat 2nd confirmed the retrieval of female remains from a septic tank believed to have been those of the Takradi girls. She remained as CID boss to the January 3rd reshuffle by the Inspector General of Police, James Opon Bueno. She is now the Director General in charge of welfare at the Ghana Police Service. But what do people make of her new role? Now that she's been reassigned, she should reflect and then um, know how and when to come out public to, to, to comment on issues. I hope that in this new position she will take cue from um, a former position and do things better. And what are the public expectations from the new CID boss, COP Isaac Ken Yeboa? The technology issue shouldn't be, be, be thrown to the dust. It has to be revisited and then really dive into it to see whether what was really said about them was really the tr truth of it. Such very sensitive issues. I would advise he doesn't pick it up. If he will, then he should have some concrete evidence and not just assumptions. Since they said uh, the case has been closed and the girls were confirmed dead, I think that that's it. We should let sleeping dogs lie. I don't think you should revisit it. I just think you should focus on ensuring that Ghana is a better place to live in. Joseph Armstrong, TV3 News, Accra.